right, bank calls to be in order. First item is roll call. Alderman Bass. Here. Alderman Cleaver. Here. Alderman Headley. Here. Alderman Stratton. Here. Alderman Totten. Here. Alderman West. Here. Here. Next time, the invocation by Daryl Jones from Crossroads Church, followed by mm -hmm. Pleasant Dudens from Alderman Bass. Good work. Uh, grateful again uh, just for uh, the example uh, that we have, uh, the imprint, the image uh, that you put uh, on each of us uh, from you that we are made in your image and, uh, and that you've given us uh, the opportunity uh, to manage and transact uh, business among one another, uh, mostly for the ability to live in community. Never, none of us were made to, to live alone, to function alone, and so you've, uh, you've allowed us to uh, follow your lead and to follow your example by living in a community with one another. And then uh, provided ways for us to, uh, uh, to live in a broken world and uh, manage and fix and repair. So I'm thankful for these leaders uh, here. Uh, that uh, that spend their time uh, to uh, to help make uh, this community a better community, uh, to provide ways in which this community can live and function and manage uh, and prosper together, and then also God that they uh, that they legislate and provide ways that uh, the things that are broken can get fixed. And so I thank you for their time and their efforts and their energy, both our city staff as well as uh, our mayor and our alderman. Uh, thank you for this time tonight, and may it all be done for your honor and glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, next item is the approval of the agenda. No changes, Mayor. <laughs> See no proclamations and move on to citizens' participation. We ask the citizens who wish to address the board, please come forward to the uh, podium and microphone and give your name and address for the record. Do we have anyone who wishes to address the board this evening? Right. Seeing none, we move on to the consent agenda. Mayor, move we accept the consent agenda. I have motion from Alderman West to approve the consent agenda. Do I have a second? Okay. Over cotton. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Zero. See no previous business, new business, presentations, or public hearings. We will move on to ordinances. Mayor, I move we make. Second reading by title only for Bill B-20-02. I have a motion this moment headed to to make the second reading of Bill B-20-02. Do I have a second? Second. Second, Alderman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any discussion? Mayor, members of the board, uh, just remember this is the first read was at the last meeting and this will prohibit parking on the west side of Pamela Boulevard and then in front of fire hydrants and mailboxes on the east side. Um, and if you remember, this is something that was brought to us to look at. This was not something that we um, went out and actively um, looked to come up with a solution for. So it was basically uh, complaint driven, I guess, for businesses around there. Discussions? Well, isn't that against the law to park in front of the hydrant and all that anyway? Yeah, I mean, this just kind of clearly states it there. Yeah. Um, there's distances that are in the code, but this kind of just made it abundantly clear. The, the most important part is the no parking on the other side of the street. Okay. Any additional discussions? Seeing none, all fair, please say aye. All right. Also, same sign. Mayor, this is the second reading of Bill Number B20-02, an ordinance amending Title III Traffic Code Section, Schedule 4, Parking Prohibited of the City of Grain Valley Municipal Code. Mayor, I move we accept second reading for Bill B20-02. 
20-02, making it ordinance 2492. I have a motion to approve Bill 20-02 for its second reading, making ordinance 2492. Do I have a second? Second. Second. Todd. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Roll call on. <laughs> Alderman Stratton? Yes. Alderman Cotton? Yes. Alderman Bass? Yes. Alderman Headley? Yes. Alderman West? Yes. Alderman Cleaver? Yes. Right. Mayor, I move we I move we make the first reading by title only for Bill twenty dash zero three and bring it all right. For twenty dash zero three. Okay. I have a motion Alderman Headley to approve it or to bring up Bill B twenty dash zero three for its first reading. Do I have a second? Second. Mr. Cleaver. All right. Any discussions? Uh, Mayor, members of the board, I will turn this over to Mr. Lauber to give a brief overview. Thank you, Mr. Murray. Murphy. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. <laughs> Mayor, members of the board, good to see you this evening. Uh, the item that you have uh, before you, I believe, was uh, we gave you a heads up that it was uh, on the way, uh, as we had heard uh, just before coming into the last meeting that this would. Uh, would be uh, on for this evening. Uh, you may recall uh, that at our December meeting, the Board of Aldermen approved an assignment and assumption agreement to allow Star Development to uh, sell the grocery store parcel to a, a new owner, uh, presumably to free up dollars uh, for Star to work on uh, completing the other parts of the development. Uh, the closing of that sale was to occur uh, before the end of 2019. But unfortunately, it did not happen uh, for whatever reason. Uh, that sale did not go through to that particular buyer. Uh, we, uh, we learned uh, just before the last meeting that another investor had been interested at the time that the original buyer that, that we looked at uh, or uh, uh, that we did an approval uh, for an assignment agreement uh, uh, and that the original buyer was exchange right. Um, but there was an original investor who had been inter interested at that time. Uh, that uh, original investor has now stepped forward uh, to make a purchase of the land. Um, I will, uh, uh, once I've concluded my comments, I may have uh, Mr. De La Fuente from Star uh, speak a little bit to uh, the, this investor that is looking to purchase uh, the grocery store parcel. Um, I will say that uh, for all intents and purposes, if you take a look at the agreement uh, you're being asked to approve this evening, there have been extremely few changes to it from the one that was approved in December. Uh, the, really, it's just the names of, of the parties. And you may recall that there was a provision that the, uh, uh, the exchange right, the, uh, the buyer that we had originally approved a, an assignment assumption agreement, had asked for some additional protections uh, with respect to the NID payments. This particular buyer has not asked for those same, so that Section 9 that we had uh, previously is no longer in the contract that we had before. Um, as far as the city's concerned, uh, all of our rights remain intact and are, are unchanged. Uh, everything that, that you would be asked to approve this evening is exactly the same as you were asked to approve in December, just the buyer uh, is different in this circumstance. You will see that the ordinance that you're looking at this evening will do two things. It will A, uh, repeal the prior ordinance where you authorize the sale to exchange right, and then it would authorize uh, the, the signing of an agreement, uh, the assignment and assumption agreement for the new buyer, which is the Williamson Trust. And with that, uh, Mayor, I'll invite Mr. De La Fuente to speak a little bit to this new investor. Robert De La Fuente, Star Development. 244 West Mill, the Green Missouri. Um, so the new investor is just a, a local businesswoman together with Block and Company. Um, she was actually the original buyer that was supposed to buy it about a year ago this time, but fell through for whatever reason. And that's basically it. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Anyone have any questions? You say she was the original Local buyer and fell through. So she, as a part of a, a sale of a bunch of real estate last year, that fell through. That didn't happen until December of this this past. It fell through, and then she came back and said, "Hey, I've got uh, this finances." Right. right. Okay. Right. Okay. She buying more than just this piece from you guys? Uh, no, she's just okay. yeah. She's 
sold quite a few pieces of property, but she's buying it okay. with, uh, without any financing. So she's okay. got the wherewithal and the knowledge to handle something like this. Uh, the only question I might have, Mr. De La Fuente, is just uh, with respect to you know, this is going to be owned in trust, and, and so this is a, sounds like a, a real estate investor. How, uh, you know, I, obviously the price chopper will remain, uh, Cosentinos will remain the price chopper operator. Right. How does the property owner interact with the, the operator in that circumstance, and, you know, like how do, how do we, you know, just, I guess, make sure that the property is upkept and, and, and those things? So uh, I know from my experience since we opened, had maybe two or three calls from not really anything. Just, uh, hey, who uh, maintains this or that? Question. They like to do everything themselves, so we're kind of the, the cotton cotton cotton. Cotton. Yeah, So we're really not doing much. But uh, for, I mean, for your questions, you can call me. And uh, we'll be around. <laughs> Anyone else that? Oh, when do you see this transaction occurring? It's supposed to happen at the end of this week. The end of this week? Yes, it's a yeah. Friday. Well. So y you had mentioned that this was to help Star Free Up Money to continue investing over here. Is that um, so? So. In investing in general, but we are trying to start. We got to finish out that development, but we're also starting on that. You, you got to cross the street also. Across the street, yeah. yeah they they have across the street from Price Chopper also. Gotcha. Going back yeah. towards Jefferson. Uh, okay. North of the new Gotcha. Anything else? All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. See you then. And all here, please say aye. Uh, All opposed, same sign. Mayor, this is the first reading of Bill Number B20-03, an ordinance repealing Ordinance Number 2486, which approved an assignment and assumption agreement among the City of Grain Valley, Star Acquisitions, and Exchange Right Real Estate, LLC, and approving an assignment and assumption agreement among the City of Grain Valley, Star Acquisitions, Inc., and Mildred C. Williamson as trustee of the Mildred C. Williamson Trust dated March 6, 2001 and authorizing the mayor to execute the contract. Mayor, I move we accept the first reading for Bill 20-03 and bring it back for a second reading by title only. Okay. I have a motion while we're headed to approve Bill B20-03 for its first reading, bring it back by title one for its second reading. Do I have a second? Second. Second on the cotton. Any discussion? Seeing none, all fair, please say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Mayor, this is the second reading of Bill Number B20-03, an ordinance repealing Ordinance Number 2486, which approved an assignment and assumption agreement among the City of Grain Valley, Star Acquisitions, Inc., and Exchange Right Real Estate, LLC, and approving an assignment and assumption agreement among the City of Grain Valley, Star Acquisitions, Inc., and Mildred C. Williamson as trustee of the Mildred C. Williamson Trust dated March 6, 2001, and authorizing the mayor to execute the contract. Mayor, I move we accept the second reading of Bill B-20-03, making it ordinance number 2493. <laughs> I have a motion to welcome Kelly to approve Bill B-20-03 for its second reading. Make an ordinance 2493. Have a second? Second. Bring on the cotton. Discussion? All right, I was going to this time just to appease you, but now I may not. <laughs> All right, this will be a roll call vote. Alderman Cleaver? Yes. Alderman West? Yes. Alderman Headley? Yes. Alderman Bass? Yes. Alderman Totten? Yes. Alderman Stratton? Yes. That ordinance is approved, Mayor, 6-0. Right. Next up we have resolutions. Mayor, I move we accept resolution 20-11 as read. Right. I have a motion from Auburn Headley to approve resolution R20-11. Do I have a second? Second. 
Check it on the receiver. Uh, Mayor, members of the board, um, if you remember back over the last few years, we've done a lot of trail work um, on the north side of Duncan Road. Um, we actually had the pedestrian bridge just south of the elementary school um, that went and covered the, the school property. And then with the newer uh, subdivision developments we've had um, on the north side of Rosewood, where there the developer has been putting in sidewalk, but we have a gap in between where the school property was and where the newer um, subdivisions put in the sidewalk or put in the trail. Um, and then also we had approved um, a water line project co to go along that side of Dillingham Road. So we thought this would be a good opportunity to fill that gap um, and kind of add on to what was already approved in the trail master plan. Um, so this will be filling that gap between the school property and the newer uh, subdivisions in, in Rosewood. And it's coinciding with the water line project, so we are saving a little bit of money on uh, the design side of things with that. And this is Lamp Renierson, um, who you're aware is our on-call engineer. So if you have any further questions, Mr. Davies would be happy to answer. Where are they starting? Um, Where are they starting? Well, I believe we're looking at uh, it to go up to bid early March. We're looking at... Uh, an early March bid. Uh, the water line is basically designed already, so this would add the trail to the same project uh, with a little bit more surveying and uh, putting both projects in, which would also save us mobilization costs. Okay. Any questions? See that? No, fair to say aye. Aye. Also, the same sign. Next. Mayor, I move we accept resolution 20 12 as read. All right, I have a motion while we're headed to approve, approve resolution R 20 12. Do I have a second? Second. Second. Bass. Any discussion? Uh, Mayor and members of the board, this was a budgeted item uh, for the 2020 budget, and it will be replacing uh, the lamps on fields one and two at Monkey Mountain. Um, They've been there since it was um, since they were put in, um, and we've had a lot of issues with them burning out. So this will be replacement of those. Do you have any questions? How come the school is paying for this? The school doesn't have anything to do with Monkey Mountain. Our facility. Oh. That's ours. Yeah. Okay. Do you have anything else? Thank you. All right. Seeing none, all fair to say aye. All right. All opposed, same sign. Mayor, I move we accept resolution 20 13 as read. I have a motion to approve resolution R 20 13. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. Cotton. Any discussion? Uh, Mayor, members of the board, this is another item that had been discussed, but um, if you've spent any time at any of the events out at the pavili uh, pavilion, um, you've probably sat on the wood tables there that over time really start to warp and then we have to constantly have to do maintenance on them. Um, and even around the baseball fields with the dust that kicks up off the fields, they're, we're constantly having to clean them. Um, this uh, resolution would approve purchasing 20 uh, eight foot tables and they would be the metal with kind of a rubber plastic um, covering over them. Similar to what we have at, like the benches at Butterfly Trail. Um, where there's a lot less maintenance to them and the risk of damage is a lot lower. But a few of these last, right? Uh, yeah. We actually replaced shelters one, two, three, and four in Armstrong Park with these exact same tables in this kind of phase two to now take care of the building. Do we have any questions? Did, did you say you were going to keep the existing ones stored for? And you'll actually find the ones that we took from shelters one, two, three, and four down the public works yard. Now there was a few that we went ahead and, and scrapped just because they were in rough shape, but um, we will keep all of the good ones, the frames, the blanks, and, and we do pull those out for like bigger events like the fair where we need more picnic tables. And they're, they're easier to move, they're lighter. Um, the skid steer with forks doesn't mar them up as much than moving these new tables. Yeah,
Anything else? Seeing none, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. All opposed, say aye. Except for resolutions. Next up is city attorney's reports. Uh, Mayor, members of the board, uh, just uh, a reminder that uh, it was a, a a week ago, last Wednesday, that the uh, legislative session opened uh, in Missouri uh, for the year. So uh, uh, just be aware that uh, we, you should be, uh, actually, city staff is receiving uh, weekly some updates on some of the bills that are out there. If the city has any particular legislation that you have an interest in, whether it's something that, that you don't think is a good idea or that you do think is a good idea and you would like to have the city's voice heard, we do have Nathan Nicholas in our Jeff City office and we have a legislative solutions program where uh, we can testify on your behalf if you'd like, and that way you don't have to send somebody down to Jeff City. Uh, we've got uh, somebody that's just located just two blocks away from the Capitol and could go down and, and do that. And in, um, in fact, uh, when we do that, if, if we have more than one city that is interested in testifying on that bill, then we'll just split the cost so that it will reduce uh, the, the, uh, the cost of, of having that done. So I just wanted to make sure you're aware of that. If, if you're watching the legislation out there and, and have any concerns, uh, uh, please uh, be willing to take a look at that. Uh, for example, I believe it's on this coming Wednesday, uh, uh, Donna Fauch, uh, Representative Fauch, uh, who's uh, – doesn't come up here. Does she? She's yeah, a little she bit has, south. She, part, she, part, part, yeah. she has part. introduced a bill um, that essentially uh, helps the state auditor that if, if certain reports aren't filed, that actually the state auditor can start a, a process to disincorporate a city. Um, so uh, that may be something that would uh, be of concern uh, to, to the city, not that we would be late in filing any reports. but uh, Is that in response to? Uh, I, I don't know uh, on that. <laughs> I, the, uh, anymore, I, I, I just don't even know what they're thinking down there. So, um, But just for an example, uh, so we've got some folks that are going down to testify uh, for cities uh, uh, in support of cities against that particular bill, and there's another one. Uh, that is uh, set to, uh, in fact, I believe we're actually testifying on uh, the yeah, city's uh, behalf. Uh, uh, Mr. Dean reported on the last time, and it was actually supposed to have been that day after the board it. meeting, and it got postponed. It postponed, so, yeah. yeah. It will be on also this Wednesday, the 29th. Uh, and so that is one uh, that was uh, introduced by Senator uh, Emery, and I believe there's a, a, a companion bill filed in the, in the House of Representatives by uh, Representative Bondin. Uh, we were both out south, kind of Cass County area and further south. Um, and that bill in particular would limit the city's ability to, uh, to charge certain fees for use of uh, telecommunication, like for right-of-way uh, and, and those. And so uh, we're actually, we will be testifying on the city's behalf. Um, and city staff has shared the impact, which I believe was something in the neighborhood of like $60,000 per year would hurt your revenue. Uh, so we'll be testifying on your behalf there to essentially explain that, you know, that's you know, maybe the cost of, of, you know, the salary of a city employee, a police officer, for example, and, and uh, that, you know, that, um, you know, that that would be very damaging to cities if, if, if that legislation were to be passed. So, again, just wanted to share that for you. Except the Mr. Staff Reports. Uh, Ms. Ozenbaugh. Members of the board, um, just another reminder that we have a couple um, community meetings coming up for the Green Valley Community Campus. So the first is um, coming up on Thursday. That's the open house at City Hall that we talked about the last meeting for the tours of City Hall and the PD. Um, we still have some spots that haven't been filled for that. So if you have anybody interested, um, you can send them our way and we'll get them signed up. Those are timed um, tours, so we have a limited amount of people in the building at a, at a time. And then the other um, meeting coming up very quickly is on February 3rd. It's from 5 to 7. We'll be here in the board chambers. This is not a formal presentation. This is more of a, another open house interactive type environment where we'll have stations that citizens can go to and give feedback and input on um, look and feel, design of the buildings, ask their questions, things like that. So our design team will be um, on site that night along with all the department heads to answer any questions and really give the citizens a chance to interact and give some feedback and be a part of the process. Mr. Craig. <clears throat> yes, we 
we uh, completed the W-2s and 1099s for uh, 2019, and uh, we're working on closing out the 2019 budget year. And uh, the most important thing is the water and utility billing and the finance department are firmly behind the Chiefs this Sunday, and hope they win these. <laughs> <laughs> the parks director was just telling me about how he liked the 49 <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's all from staff. All right. Next up is Board of Alderman Reports and Comment. Alderman Stratton. Alderman Totten. Well, I'd like to say I really enjoyed meeting all the YMCA uh, uh, people over there. They're pretty uh, active in things, and we're ones that are going to plan on taking a tour. And uh, we're working on stuff together. We've uh, went to lunch at the Hispanic restaurant right down on Walnut and uh, Front Main Street. After that, we did a tour of our historical building, and the lady was fantastic. And we had women that have lived in Grain Valley never gone there, and she the, there were several of them, including me. Totally impressed. And we learned stuff. And uh, I'm very thankful for being able to get in the middle of it. Alderman Bass? I just think the parks director should rethink which team he is behind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but nothing more. Uh, Alderman Hesse? I know where he lives. <laughs> I have nothing. Alderman West. Alderman Seaver. <laughs> Next up is Mayor's Parts. All right. I can't read it right. Remind me. I know. Okay, so uh, I was contacted by uh, Stacy Perry. You guys might know her. She puts on the uh, Purple Beast Foundation car show over at the Pavilion every year. Uh, she's contacted me to ask if she needed to come before the board to ask for us to to wave that again, and I said, and I told her I thought I could just bring it up and we could do it, and it wasn't a need for her to come up and do that. So she is requesting that uh, we make the motion then to uh, to waive the ordinance that basically allows her to have the car show there and allows her to sell concessions and that type of stuff. But all the money raised goes to the Purple Peace Foundation, which is a foundation to help out with ep epilepsy awareness. So it's a nonprofit. So not making any money off of her it's all going for that. So, I mean, if you've never been, big event. I mean, it's grown every year. I think it's a good event for the city. It brings in a lot of, you know, a lot of people who don't necessarily live here. So that's always nice to have those types of events. So I would entertain a motion then to, uh, well, we actually have to order some. Be waived ordinance uh, 240.160. So moved. Got motion from Alderman Hayden then to waive that ordinance. Do I have a second? Okay. Second, Alderman Stratton. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know the exact date. I probably be somewhere, but I know it's usually in August, isn't it? It's usually in August, I think. Yeah. August. Okay. That's an August. Uh, anyone have any discussion or questions? Then. See none. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. All right, I'm sure she's probably already messaged me, and so I will let her know that <laughs> we have waived that for. Uh, that is all I have to report then. We do have a need for the executive session for items one, two, three, four, five. How many numbers have we got? Well, probably not all those numbers. <laughs> but, uh, one, two, three, five, five six, six, twelve. Five, this, I don't know. <laughs> Was it one? One, two, three, twelve, and thirteen. Okay, I don't know if five and six exist. I probably got they, they are well. not listed there. <laughs> All right, so I, I will entertain a motion then to adjourn into executive session. Motion okay. Alderman Ridley, do I have a second? Second, second Alderman Bass. All right, this will be a roll call. Alderman Stratton? Yes. Alderman Totten? Yes. Alderman Bass? Yes. Alderman Hedley? Yes. Alderman West? Yes. Alderman Seaver? Yes. All right, Nick Camille, we're adjourning executive session.